Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. You are watching the Data Labs. My name is Dilip. In this video, we will learn about how to create a tornado chart in Excel. So, in this particular sheet, you can see that I have already created a tornado chart, right? And the data for this tornado chart is uh, this one, like range A1 to uh, C6. This is all about you know uh, sales performance for 2018 and 2019. So, before we learn this uh, chart from scratch, let's discuss what is tornado chart. So tornado chart is nothing but it's a, like a, a two-sided bar chart looks like tornado where we have two data bars right opposite to each other it makes it easy to compare both of them and it's a useful tool uh, for sensitivity analysis right so it's a very useful uh, chart uh, for those if you want to analyze the data for better decision making okay so uh, as you know that in uh, there is no uh, default tornado chart uh, we have only have bar chart or column chart so with the help of bar chart we can create a tornado uh, this beautiful tornado chart uh, let's uh, discuss the tornado chart which i have prepared here so as uh, you know i have some you know given some random rand between uh, function over here to generate uh, random sales performance for 2018 and 2019 for zone uh, that is uh, north south east and west and based on this date, uh, data uh, i have created this uh, chart so let's uh, press f9 so that it will formula will change the value and see uh, how it's uh, changing like tornado is looking like right so as soon as uh, the the data sets gets update with the latest you know uh, sales performance or some random value then our uh, chart is uh, you know uh, changing its uh, you know, bar basically tornado and you can see that you know uh, for north it's a 97 uh, and uh, for 2018 and in 2019 it has you know uh, become 79% uh, so this is the way you can compare and it's a very uh, you know uh, very helpful in your decision making and that's a very beautiful chart you can utilize in uh, your dashboard or reports so let's prepare this uh, chart from scratch for doing that, just uh, press Ctrl N to create a new workbook. Now press F12 to save it. Give the name as you know, Tornado Chart Exercise. Right? Now click on Save. Okay. And just rename the sheet at uh, Tornado Chart. You can download this uh, workbook from a uh, description box i have provided the link uh, and uh, you know parallelly uh, you can make uh, the uh, you know uh, you can create from your own uh, so that you can learn it better right so just uh, give the uh, name as like column header as zone and it's a sales percentage for 2018 right and again sales percentage 2019 okay so this uh, these are the column headers we will be utilizing make it okay so let, let's expand this this as well and this as well. now remove this this is incorrect color. okay so let's uh, type the zone so north south east west right uh, apply uh, a random uh, rand between function rand between function give the minimum as you know uh, let it be uh, 20 and uh, top should be 100 okay and as we are going to utilize the percent uh, value in percentage then we need to divide it by 100 okay now select this and press ctrl d again select this uh, like fill and ctrl r okay just uh, change the formatting so just go to home tab and in number group you can see that there is a percentage symbol here just click on over here now you can see that all the values are started reflecting in percentage now select select uh, sales 2018 and 2019 make it uh, center alignment middle alignment just select the header make it you know uh, like fill the uh, fill color like black and white just uh, apply the border here okay so just uh, all borders now go to view tab grid lines remove the grid lines right and as i already told you right uh, that this is uh, uh, like uh, in this uh, data set 
you can see that uh, this is our bar graph basically so uh, here it's reflecting left side and uh, sales performance 2019 is reflecting to uh, right side so we need to modify some uh, some of the uh, like the actual data set over here so just uh, copy it click over here right go to uh, home tab and then click on paste and then paste special and paste link again select this uh, click on format printer and apply the formatting so uh, we replicated you know uh, the data points here but we have only provided the link so that any value uh, what uh, if we will update uh, any value over here then uh, that will start reflecting over one little uh, no one minor modification we need to do in uh, this particular column that is you know sales uh, percentage so we need to showcase entire value in negative numbers right in uh, so this should be positive and this should be negative so to do that just uh, you know uh, uh, just uh, this is the formula basically the multiply minus one so it will become it will uh, like minus so here you will see that a uh, positive number but the same number will be here in negative so this is done this is a simple trick which uh, uh, which is required to prepare the tornado chart now select the uh, entire range like from june and to sales 2000 uh, like 19 go to insert tab and just in column group here click over here and select 2d bar okay so put it over here and drag this make it a little bit bigger okay now right click on uh, this one the axis format axis and in format axis pane just click on uh, like change the tick the category in reverse order okay and now go to and label just expand the label and select a uh, the label position should be you know low so earlier it was uh, reflecting here but as soon uh, as you know we selected this one label position low it started reflecting uh, you know extreme left side okay now right click on uh, this bar go to format data series just uh, right cl uh, click on format data series and in format data series pin just you know overlap so enter 100% as overlap okay and in the uh, no, gap width just enter 80% okay so now you can see that you know it has started you know uh, reflecting uh, uh, parallelly like uh, side by side okay so uh, we need to make some modifications so that our chart uh, will look like this one okay so let uh, select the entire chart over here and just enter cambria font and the size should be 11 right and make uh, this little bit bigger and again this one as well okay and just uh, click over here just uh, close the format chart area now select the chart click on plus icon and then grid lines and select the grid lines okay so let's first uh, add the data levels okay and again on this for 2019 add the data levels just click over here select the data click on plus icons and data levels and then you know inside uh, end basically inside base okay and select again this one for 2018 the negative part go to click on plus icon here right and then data levels and inside end inside base okay so, uh, let's uh, make it positive number so just uh, right select this number right and format axis in format axis pen just go downside and click on number and in number just uh, select the category as custom okay and here in type select the last one that is you know uh, this one okay so make sure it, it should be has comma double hash zero then percentage semicolon hash comma double hash zero percentage 
ओके सो फर्स्ट विल बी पॉजिटिव एंड सेकेंड विल बी द पॉजिटिव लाइक नेगेटिव बट हेयर वी हैव रिमूव द माइनस साइन एंड दैट्स द रीजन नेगेटिव साइन इज ऑल्सो रिफ्लेक्टिंग एज पॉजिटिव ओके जस्ट कॉपी दिस बिकॉज वी नीड टू नो अप्लाई द सेम फॉर दिस वन जस्ट लाइक दिस गो टू फॉर्म एडिट लेवल्स एंड इन लाइक बिलो जस्ट क्लिक ऑन नंबर एंड सेलेक्ट द कस्टम राइट एंड इधर यू कैन पेस्ट ओवर हियर द वाट वी सेल वी कॉपी फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस मंथ और यू कैन सेलेक्ट फ्रॉम हेयर एज वेल ओके नाउ यू कैन सी दैट इट हैज स्टार्टेड रिफ्लेक्टिंग एज यू नो द परसेंटेज यू नो विदाउट साइन नेगेटिव साइन ओके जस्ट क्लोज द फॉर्मेट चार्ट एरिया नाउ अगेन मूव टू द प्रीवियस चार्ट सो वी नीड टू अप्लाई शेडो फॉर प्लॉट एरिया एज वेल एज द the bar so let's uh, select the this bar and design even format and in shape effect just click on shape effect and then shadow okay and for this just select this one right left shadow and again uh, select this one the sales 2019 bar and again go to format then shape effect and then shadow now we need to uh, give the this one right okay just uh, select the plot area as well and just uh, go to format again shape effect shadow and just give as a on uh, the bottom shadow right so uh, let's change the color so just uh, select the cells 2018 bar go to shape fill you know format and then shape fill and then select this one right and again uh, select the sales 2019 bar go to format shape fill and just uh, select this one yes gold okay now double click on a uh, chart title and enter sales percentage okay just select the title and go to home and increase the size up to 16 okay now select the chart uh, let's go to this one now we have you know, uh, increase the size and make it uh, you know look like uh, this chart previous chart so let's uh, you know apply the shadow for this chart uh, entire chart okay so this is the previous and this is the latest one just select this you know format shape effect then shadow and just select this one offset right now right click on this uh, let's uh, format chart area and then border we need to apply a round corner border right so just go below and check tick rounded corner border okay so now our chart is ready just go there you can see that uh, this is the the previous chart and this is the current chart okay so uh, the chart is ready let's as we have already used a rand between function so let's press f9 so that you know uh, formula will change the value and uh, like formula will get executed and uh, uh, rand between generate some new uh, sales percentage number for you know all the sales let's see how it changed so now you can see that our tornado chart is getting updated basis on data available in the table So this is all about the tornado chart. Hope you liked uh, the trick uh, to create the tornado chart. As because see, Excel has no such a feature where uh, where you can create a tornado chart directly. But of course, uh, you know, Excel is a flexible tool and provides so many customizers and options so that you can create a chart based on your requirement. Okay. So hope uh, you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Have a good day. Bye bye.